going on right yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, it's shy. It's basically what you say, yeah. It's pumping up on it, yeah. You'll have to stop this so that I can do another one when you actually go on. I'll edit it. Just keep going. What else are you doing today? Giving me them? Yeah. I'm fucking where? Not who? Join his arms. Join his arms and his pool. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm saying, oh, sorry, Sandy. Right, I tell you what, I'm just going to stop you there because I don't fucking care. Yeah, I'm going to go with you. No, I'm going to go with you. Yeah. Hang on, I'm going to go with you. Pick a piece. Pick a piece. It's working really well. Really, really working well. What I'm going to do is just get your next act up because no one fucking cares. Where's the piece? Yours. Oh, you're jumping on it together. We are. First thing that went right today, let's just feel. Just kind of looping, cheering, clapping, just oh, giving up and back about. Right, I just want to talk about, if we're all listening, God bless you. Anybody? A few are listening, that'll do. Hey! So, I want to talk about negatives of sex. Whether you're in love with somebody or the best thing you've ever known, you're getting picked on some chronic, so I'm going to try and avoid not picking on you. But, I will slightly, just because for just your ear. For me, negatives of sex, for mine it's first, I get an incredible person, what's the etiquette for getting a drink when other person wants to carry on? But your mouth's so dry, your lips are sticking to your gums. What do you do? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I like that. I, I like that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, because it's terrible, isn't it? Like, another thing that we don't talk about much is the mattress. And the dampness. And that's terrible to sleep on, so always get a dry towel, that's top tips. I also want to talk about internet dating. Has anybody internet dated here? Have you, sir? Unfortunately. It's terrible, isn't it? I have not ever had a good experience. We are. Thing is, I met, I go on internet dating because I don't, oh, my wires are around. I don't know what a lesbian looks like unless she's got spiky hair, plays darts and dungarees. I can't identify whether she's gay or not. And I'm a gay woman who likes a woman. I know this is going to sound a bit, is it sexist? A woman that looks like a woman. I don't want a woman that looks with jeans and polo shirt. Because I'm not going to be a bloke, in my opinion, I'm attracted to the feminine. Is my view. So I go on internet dating and I find this really nice lady from London. So we're talking and she's all sexual and all this and then she says, oh, she's going to come to my flat now and I, no, I don't confuse me. Speaking in the way, that would be asked, didn't it? She's got a big arse. She ought to be So I get to know her, she gets trains down, don't spike me beer. <laughs> Now are you trying to spike the beer? What are you putting in it? More beer. I'm like a mouse, is it? You got to. Right, so, yeah. so she comes over to flat, God love her, with his cockney accent. And I am really nervous because I've never, you know, done the internet dates with me. So she comes straight over and I thought, right, I can take her to Costa or I'll take her somewhere. She comes straight to flat, love. I'm sure it's no one more nice. I can't name her because it's on internet, isn't it? Well, I'll name her, fuck it. She, I'll never see her again. She says, oh, what? nice to see you, I'm Crystal. And I'm like, all right, Crystal, love, because I'm from Rotherham. Mm. Little rats, so Kira, thank you, thank you. I am from Rotherham, I haven't been groomed, just to make that clear, I have not been groomed. I'm not ever going to tax it. I'm fine. So she comes over and she's like, oh, sweetheart, shall we go straight? Because it was just a, like, what's it? Is it a hook up? One night stand? I don't know because I've never been on that app. You've never been on that app? Never go on that app because what I'm going to tell you is going to. It's disgusting. So she comes over and I'm like, shall I make you a cup of tea or I'll pop your arm? She's like, no, I don't want a cup of tea. Should we just go straight to the bedroom, darling? I'm like, fucking hell, you're 
Yeah, I'm very cold. And then I've turned into a bag of fucking nerves. But he's like, what am I going to do here? I haven't had sex in fucking six months. I don't know. To... <laughs> Oh what? <laughs> ah, so she comes over right, there's a little guest in bedroom and then she's like, puts her legs at quarter to three and I could see all being the clam and I'm like, oh my god, fucking hell, I do it. So I did my best lizard impression because that's all lesbians do. So I did my best lesbian impression and all the legs and all this, doing alphabet, so I'd love it. And she's like, oh, it's really nice, oh my god, and all these noises and, I, and it was really southern, it put me off. It put me off some fucking chronic, to be honest with you, boys and girls. So then what happened, right, this is awful. I'm going to use your... Am I right to use your neck? I need to use your neck! I need to use your neck! Give me a neck. So she's got her legs at quarter feet. Imagine the situation I were in, sweetheart. Fucking terrible. So I'm down there doing my lizard impression. Right, so doing all that. Then next minute I felt this... That this wind round my neck. I thought, what the fuck? And then this noise, it went. <laughs> she fucking trunked in the mouth, so it's like. <laughs> I tasted it before I smelt it. It was fucking unbelievable. And I didn't know what to do. What do you do in that situation? So she went, I'm so fucking sorry. It's never happened to me before. I'm so sorry. Stop your rubbing us in. I'm so fucking sorry. And I was disgusted. I went. Because I was gipping, because it smelled like, it tasted and smelled like to me. Have you ever wet box for dogs? You know them <laughs> The fucking street, don't they? You haven't got all that cool memories, right? Straighten me up. And I thought, fuck me. And I was disgusted. I said, oh, and I was gipping. Do you know your mouth slavers that you're going to be sick? You try not to be sick, but your mouth's slavering anyway. Right? Sorry to pull you on the wire. <laughs> You know you ended up with a claim then, look. I do. I do. You tried after a claim. I did. I after a claim here. Where there's a claim, there is a claim. Ah, so she just trumps in me go. So I says to her, I says, Oh, I can't carry on. No, I'm sorry, Paris. I'm sorry, Paris. I'm sorry, Paris. I've never done that before. I'm sorry, Paris. I kicked her out. I know that's wrong. I know that's disgusting. And it's not really nice. But I didn't know what else to do. I went, like, Please leave. Just leave. I can't be doing with this shit. Unbelievable. So that was my experience with a woman. I went with a bloke once to test if I were gay. Because I didn't know in my mind. Because it's weird when you're one of them queers. It's weird. Because you, you know you're gay, but you don't want to be gay. But you've got to find out if you're gay. And it's a very fucking... I know you haven't been through this, sweetheart. That's all you want. It's going to the wind every day. Every day! Every day! Oh, God love you. God love you. There's, there's internet sites for that. So, anyway, so I got to this club. So I was 17, I went to nightclub, and I thought, right, I'm 17. I like girls. I don't fancy boys. I don't blush around boys. I love men. Men, to me, are fantastic. They're getting a bad rep lately for me. Men have got to do this, that, and other. I love men, and men are brilliant, and men should carry on being men and not fucking have to do all this new age shit. That's my view anyway. being with a man because as my mum says it could be a phase a strange phase but a phase anyway are you all right darling you know i don't want to catch, catch up with your wife you all right are you just all right all right she's all right she's all right she's dead right so worked in that club i'm 17 i thought you know dog fun i like girls but i don't know if i like girls i need to sleep with a man so dj's there jeff Honestly, jet black, pink AA, six foot black like Adonis. But he's this big Jamaican guy. And I'm like, I thought, right, oh, 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 I don't know why I did that camp voice, but I did it because I tried to act like a woman for once. So he goes to me, I'm doing nothing to attack you, coming back to the mind. Kissed his lips, I thought, fucking hell, it's happening. Yeah, it's fucking happening. So we get in, I'm not naming it, we're getting city taxi. 
Yeah. We get us back to ways. Can I use your leg? <laughs> Go on, let me use your leg. So, right, we sat on his settee, pretend you're a big black bloke, okay? That's it, that's it, that's it, I'll do. Right, put your hand on me leg here, I won't ring the police. There, there, that's me. There you go. So he starts doing this to my leg and I thought, I don't like this. At all. Because he had hairy fingers. He had fur all over his fingers. So I'm rubbing him like this. Rub me. Rub me. That's it. Rub me. And we're rubbing each other like this. Fucking hell, this is really happening, this is really fucking happening. And it weren't really happening, so he takes me to the bedroom, he slings my legs off it. He gets this big purple fucking aubergine, like the bloody emoji. And I've never seen no like it, boys and girls, because I'm, I've, I've seen it on the internet, but I've not seen it in real life. No one tells you about the pain, do they? You know what? Men don't understand, do they? It will actually get a hot dog for a polo. <laughs> Terrible. And the, honestly, the pain and it's proper going like this going, oh baby girl, you're loving it. I will. It might have, it would be on sale. But it really won't fucking be on sale, so it won't be on sale. All this. And it's going like this. And then I don't know if it's ever happened to any other woman here who deals with Willie, but sometimes it slips. Apparently. Oh, Is it true that it slips? Great. And at least sometimes. Maybe sometimes. Painful. Oh! Painful. You know, don't you? I made a noise that I never want to make again. So he's going at it. Come on, oot, 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 like this. And I'm like, like my ankles are going like this in air. And I'm thinking, this is fucking painful. What's going on? And then it slipped and it went straight up. And my eyes crossed. Tears ran down my back. That's how fucking much my eyes are crossed. They ran down my fucking back. Slip. Did on what, love? And you didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it? No, it was horrific. It was fucking horrific. Straight up my ass. Well, then, that was. It's true, it did. And you know, polo, pop dog. It's a tight squeeze. But he started enjoying it, then, and I was like. So, I get to see my fucking hips. And my bunch lesbian come out then, right? Oh, one of them dark players. I get to see my hips, right? And I threw me out of me. And he's in with the hair like this, right? And his will is like this. Now, because of suction, we are quick, I've removed it from the anus. It set him off. Anus. With Windeline. Windeline no longer. So I've got about hips, and then this. Fucking over, she's firing fucking windling all over it. <laughs> and it was disgusting. Good time. Have you ever had the windling fired all over you, sweetheart? Ah! No! No, never mind. So that's when I know what one of them fucking, you know, one of them has been Anon says. Because I can't, nah. I've not got a, a relation, I've got a friend, as Minana says. Your kosher friend. Because she's well, she can't. My mic, what's going on? It's back, it's back. Yes, so I told me that. Oh, it's gone I'll use my outdoor voice. I'll use my outdoor voice. It's all right. So it was a big thing telling me because my nana at the time was 75. That generation, you know, they've been through a lot. Telling me that you're a queer, it took some rape courage. I'll fucking tell myself it took some rape courage. So I go in, I sit down. I'm shaking like shitty dog. And she's like, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like that? I says, nana, I've got something to tell you. I'm not, I'm not Welsh. That's a, that's a, that's a no, that, but that really is a sore point for her. But she's mumbles all way. It's next one on from Swansea, she loves it. Go on, what's wrong with you? I says, then I'm, I don't like boys in that way. I, only, I like girls. And she went, I thought, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm going to get sent to hell. I'm going to be all this, that, and other. Right? She goes, I'm not bothered because you're not going to come back pregnant, oh. are you? Yeah. I thought, go on then! Go on then! Go on, Nana! Go on, and then she says, you say, go on, Nana, but then she says to me, something that I can't get out of my head and it's ruined sort of my sexual life a little bit. Because she said, when I was in the army, gays were banned. It was not a good thing. You got to, the men got them for beggary, the women got sent to a mental institute. I thought, fucking hell, that's bad, isn't it? I best I'm bad and born in this day and age. <laughs> not in that day and age. But what I used to do when the army, I used to drive the truck, park it in front of a blue shins. I said, what's a blue shins? She went with a shower and shave and all this. 
And the lesbian just took off and she did this with her arm. And I can't even see it, well, because she was 75 at the time. Fingering! Sorry, man. No, you're all right. Do you like I'm all right. I love it. I love it personally. Have you ever looked at your fingers? <laughs> Do you go to the gym? No. Sound, I'll see you after. Let's be straight. I'm here all day. All day. All day. All day. All day. I can go a few minutes. I'm helping promoters. You're helping promoters? I'm helping promoters. God bless you. God bless you in here. God bless you. Yeah, and then the last thing I want to talk about is that sex. Is why do we make them silly noises? Why do we make silly noises? I don't, I do it myself. I don't know why we have to do it. We don't do it in any other thing in this life. Why do we do it? What's your noise? <laughs> it? It? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, hey sir, what's your noise? Hey! How much? How much? I'll end up paying you, sweetheart. Yes, what's yours? Cantonar. Oh, our Cantonar! And face as well, we put all these faces and noises, it's silly, isn't it? Right, well, I'm going to leave you be to get another few beers. Thank you all for today.